Hey guys, hope everyone is safe and well. Today we are taking a look at a new deck I've just received. It's the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Dulex set. It, it, it includes the card decks and a guidebook. Um, the offer is Lily Ashwell. Now, disclosure, I haven't yet used these cards. Like I said, I've just received them two days from uploading this um, video here. And I'm no astrology expert. It's never really been something I've gotten into. I've always been more interested in numerology, Toro, uh, palmistry, oracles, automatic writing, but nothing really much of astrology. You know, I know the basics, but nothing beyond that and about the 12 houses and so on. So you're not going to get much from me about these in depths. Um, we are just going to have a look, close look at these and cover as much as we can. And once I've learned a lot more and gained a better understanding, I will share my review on a follow up video. So as you could see here, I have to say the presentation is the best that I've ever seen or had with any deck. It looks absolutely gorgeous the part you can see how much effort has been put through this is just the overall packaging it's got sleeves on top but it gives you an idea of how much attention to details has really been put into this deck and this dulex edition it looks absolutely fantastic i love the color palette that you have the mixture of the pink in there blend of blue and everything else it is a massive box um there you know well there's not a lot in in it you get your basic stuff but just to show you what it looks like let's have a look so you've got the sleeve there nice colorful sleeve once you pull that sleeve off you you get the actual solid hard shell box and again when you open it up my god the presentation just keep on getting better and better it looks absolutely fantastic it is magnetic there latch there and you got this beautiful overall design in the box it's a box that i love that i'm going to keep the cards in i think it's just perfect for me so i don't have to get a pouch and you know so like take more spaces up you get a nice little message here heaven is under our feet as well as our as well as over our heads it's a nice beautiful design and there you get the book a very very large book overall the presentation is absolutely beautiful the whole color blending of everything looks looks amazing so here's the book, very large size book. Again, beautiful design. You've got the map there and then you get a little ribbon as well, which makes it nice and easy for you to pull the book up without much effort. Now I have to say this book has so much information in it. Great for beginners. Someone like me is, you know, this is exactly what I've been waiting for, looking for. Um, the book we're gonna cover at the end of the video but this is what it looks like. Again, it follows through, beautiful presentation, nice design overall. And it's a book that's gonna have plenty of information. I mean, like, great for someone like me who's a, a beginner into the world of astrology. Further looking into the box, um, the ribbon goes on to um, help you to pull the other box that you have within the box, a box within the box. Again, look at a very lovely design, plenty of space in there, nice padded pr protection overall. It's a massive box. I really am impressed with this uh, hard shell box. So you get the massive outer box, you get another inner box that holds the card, you get the massive guidebook with so much information in it. So now we're going to take a look at uh, the smaller box where that's holding our cards again beautiful presentation lovely theme color and you get the message at the back by all means uh, pause and read the message if you want to so i'll just leave it there for a couple of seconds so when we open the box up again very nice presentation the cards have this lovely kind of a uh, sky oceanic kind of blue to it very nice color you get a ribbon as well that makes it easy to pull out the cards the cards are plain edge but you could see it's got that lovely design um by the side of it and inside of that box you get again the same repeated message as you would on the larger box and a closer look at the cards it's a beautiful buttery matte finish very very lovely this is what the back of each of the cards look they're all exactly the same 
close as I possibly can to just give you an idea as to the quality. It's very, very nice and it feels very comfortable in the hands as well. And also looking inside of the card as well. The overall artistry work, um, it's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Everything is clear to see. You can see there the symbols. Uh, writing is clear to see. The fonts are very clear to see. Message underneath. Now, they do have a borders uh, inside of the card around, but it's not that big of a border. And the card is on the thin side. The overall stock quality, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's not that bad. I, uh, I, I would rate it as, you know, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 overall, but I think it's pretty good. And in terms of the size, if you compare it to an Oracle deck, um, you could see there it's not as big as a standard Oracle deck. And if you compare a standard Torok size deck against it, it's slightly bigger. So it's between a Toro, standard Toro and a standard Oracle deck. So let's have a look at the cards. We're going to look first at our planetary cards. Again, look at the color, the artist, artistry work and everything. Very, very, very nice. So we have a total of 11 planet uh, planet cards we've got the sun you've got the symbolism in each of the cards um, and also if you look just by the corners the top corners you will have the symbols of each of those planets we've got the moon there and then underneath of each of those card some of them are bordered or some sort of bracket uh, within the image you will have um, standard sort of uh, wording of that particular card we've got mercury there the message think learn network and communicate so i guess it gives you the general meaning of each of those planets you've got venus there the symbol right there in the corner each of these cards will have the symbols of each of those planets very nice and underneath you'll have sort of the key associated words give and receive love we've got mars there symbol got the planet and various other symbolisms within that card move forward again looking at saturn that would be for me i'm an aquarius fixed sign saturn that's as much as i know um and other little bits so it, it's kind of I'm I'm I kind of I, I'm excited uh with these with this deck so you know something for me to really learn a lot more about myself um about my uh astrological map got Jupiter which is again another um, a massive factor grow and expand Uranus you got the symbol there the planet um it's very very beautiful design you know I'm one that don't really like bordered cards um. But this one, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm all right with this one. It looks very, very nice. It, it looks perfect, actually. You got Pluto there, and then you get Neptune. It'll be very fascinating um, to really see how much I knowledge I can gain from, you know, learning as much as I could. I always wanted to. Now we've got our final card right there. Very, very nice. Hurt and heal. So that is uh, the planetary cards. Uh, 11 cards in total. Very nice. Next up, we're going to look at the zodiac signs. Very beautiful colors all over. Very muted, nice, sort of painted, wet painted sort of like colors. Very, very, very nice. I just, I, I, I really love the energy that I'm getting from these very nice. But the first card of the Zodiac, and that's the Aries, followed by the Taurus. Got the symbol of the Zodiac sign, various representation within the cards, um, the colors as well. And then you've got the word, what, independence, bravery, and the passion. Our next card, the Taurus. It's got its symbol there, flower imagery, trust, patient. Look at the design, the color, the artwork, the drawings. Very, very nice. 
it's not too in your face it's just kind of like nicely balanced you got gemini and you've got the cancer cards curiosity intellect and networking butterfly you got the symbol there twin symbol cancer the shell nurture comfort and protection we've got the leo sometimes the symbols can kind of like go between left and right you got virgo there angel wings yellow integrity self-confidence with the leo gorgeous drawing the fonts as well is very very nice you could see when it highlights what's the 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 sign is it's a uh, bold and then the words keywords underneath it's kind of like slightly aerial it looks intensity exposing virgin got the scope you're there very nice I got the Libra there with the scale symbol to the right side consideration fairness and harmony Sagittarius symbol of the Sagittarius the bow optimism exploration and freedom ambition realism Capricorn a symbol of the Capricorn there. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Some of it seems repeated in the center of the image. We've got myself, Aquarius. Very nice. Mountain. Originality. And then lastly, we've got the Pisces, Intimacy, Intuition, Two Fishes. So that was our Zodiac um, uh, sets of cards. Very nice. Uh, next, we have our houses. Um, we've got 12 houses, so 12 ha um, cards altogether. There, there's a lot more sort of artwork into these cards. You could see that. And colours are really, really showing up, um, popping out. Very, very gorgeous. So we've got our first house, house one. No idea what any of that is. House one and house two. So I'm looking forward to actually gaining a better understanding. Individuality, self-image. And on the other side, physical security, possession. House three. And we've got house four, gorgeous image. Got the birds, two birds there, or robin it looks like in a nest. Early learning, childhood relations, cultural and family roots. So I guess these kind of like represent different aspects. It delves more into, I guess, the personality. I'm not sure. Um, house five and house six cards passion play children for the house five Again, it's got that colorful uh playful sort of color there establishing a foundation and the sixth card we've got our house seven and house eight mm, that eight doesn't look pleasant at all house seven Looks like two doves. Again, okay, image of the mountain. I've seen a, it. Seems that image of the mountain keeps repeating itself. Profound relationship, intimacy, and romantic partnership, transformation, and karma for the eighth house. House nine and house ten. Spiritual growth is house nine. Interesting. House 10, imagery of the owl, so I guess it's structure, life mission, accomplishments. And our last two houses, house 11 and house 12, friends, like-minded groups, 
last card house 12 it's all about spirituality gorgeous design lovely colors so next cards we move into we have the major aspects of the cards looking at these i guess this is all about the positioning of the planets um that's what it comes across as looking at all the various different sort of symbols right there on top we've got the conjunction there uh, solid straight a union merging and of coming together and then we've got the opposition again the opposite i love the way that's been done the 180 line right in the middle the opposites and then you've got the symbol there and the artwork you've got various different elements imbalance a point of tension uh, the trine like a triangle there 120 degrees angelic support harmony and perfect flow uh, square at the set at the 90 degrees it's very interesting a challenging situation and a mountain to climb oh gosh and then we got the sextile at 60 degrees a combination of tension and flow potential and rewarding situation very interesting i'm looking forward to gain a better understanding of all of this again the card looks absolutely awesome they look beautiful so next up we have what is it that they call it the natural zodiac to me they're the elements um but yeah uh we've got yin and yang energy gorgeous there's a lot going on there and then what i like is how nicely the zodiac signs are all sort of like embedded within that to show you um so yeah this looks absolutely fantastic um we've got the elements the earth air fire and water um you got the symbol as well of the elements i know all of those and then you've got the earth uh, zodiac signs right there persistence patience the airs got the symbol of the air love uh, the image of the clouds and mountains and then you've got the free signs there open-mindedness objectivity and learning very very gorgeous i love that you've got the fire signs there and you've got again same again the symbols right there in the center you've got the uh, the symbol of the fire element on top to the right side and then you've got the water exactly the same and you've got a candle lit it up will confidence optimism passion and bravery spirituality emotion intuition and passion for the water elements gorgeous 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 cards very interesting and underneath those you've got the cardinal and then you've got the fixed signs each with its symbols so the axe there been highlighted negation bravery fixed i'm a fixed sign so it'll be interesting to gain a lot of understanding on that one stability persistence uh mutable got the sign you got the hands there you got the zodiac signs surrender fluidity welcoming change and then you got the yin and yang cards that just look stunning the the fonts looks absolutely amazing and you see all the zodiac signs that represents the yin intuition trust patience and then the yang proactivity expression doing and forward motion so i guess i am a yang i'm there at the bottom the aquarius yang absolutely fascinating i'm really looking forward to um really diving deep in and then we've got our two last card the north node and the south node no idea what the, any of these mean but i will find out uh, destined to release is one of them and the other one is destined to have very interesting 
an image of a river going down into a mountain. What's that? A dragon of some sort? Looks like it. And for the south, it's again similar, but I guess it's coming from the end. Oh, yeah, it is somewhat of a dragon. Very nice. So that is it, guys. That is all of the cards. So now we're going to take a look at the book. Now, the book, I have to say, the book is absolutely fantastic. I love the book. Again, you the presentation, the attention to details, absolutely amazing. Really, really impressive. Um, on opening the, uh, the book, you're presented, again, lovely design. You get particular quotes um, narrated and by whom it's all illustrated there for you. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I mean, I've been reading it now for a day. Um, <clears throat> I've looked at a couple of things and my God, there's just so much information. So to me, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, the table of contents, like I said, there is so much, you get a lovely introduction, you get to learn quite a lot about astrology itself, you know, the planets, the signs, houses, and all the various different things to pay attention to. There's a lot of section and information on working with the deck and each particular signs. So, you know, it's a book that's really going to kind of like give you that full introduction into astrology for me uh, on my level. And I would say I'm a beginner um it's 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 awesome i've it's really really been helpful it's really i really felt uh being guided to understand it and really be interested to know a lot more <clears throat> so you could see here in the book nice presentation it gives you plenty plenty of information it highlights things for you like it will highlight all of the planets it talks about the general um, meanings of these it gives you wonderful example and what i like is everything is nicely colored again a lot of attention to details it goes on about the signs highlights them gives you wonderful example so it's very easy for you to get into very easy to understand the houses as well it explains that the very basic and fundamentals of it all there's plenty of imagery it literally holds your hand and walks you through it. So to me, it's it's exactly what I need. It explains the astrological map. Again, gives you uh, various different examples to go by. To, you know, it really, it really t gives you those little baby steps. Um, the major aspects, where they fit on the map, what they mean. You can see it here, everything is... It's, it's explained to you it's clear it's accurate it's not very difficult to understand you go into the natural zodiac parts of it are about the elements and then you've got the various different signs I, I i know all of these but i really didn't know much about the priority of the signs so that's there the nodes of it the cardinal fix what all of those means Again, you could see in the book, you know, you, you don't have to worry. There's plenty, plenty to learn. And it's not as daunting or as complicated as I once thought. So that's kind of like a massive release for, uh, relief for me. And then once you get that, you're going to really dive in deeper. So you get free section to learn, to decode and to communicate. So section one, pretty much, you know, the learning aspects of it. And it kind of like breaks it down into the the part about learning to the cards, how to decode things. It gives you various different examples. Again, how to work with this whole astrological map. I mean, I've got my map already that was done for me by an astrologist, but I still sometimes it just goes way over my head. So I kind of am getting a better understanding the various different moon phases, the opposites of the signs. Again, there's plenty of examples it gives you. I also like how you get the nice ribbon there in the middle, so that way you can, you know, take off from where you last uh, took uh, where you last left the book. Questions, communication part is using the deck to ask questions, and then you get three spreads. You get a one card spread, you get a three card spread, which is the soul growth spread. 
and then you get a uh, four card spread as well again everything is pretty much laid out and explained to you very clearly very very clearly i really like it this whole book is is very impressive at the very end of the book you get to literally dive deeper into the meaning of the cards so if you were to use the spread and you were to do one card reading you get a full colored image of the cards you get this section which is kind of like the summary of that card and then you go into the keywords um so the energetics and the experiences of that card and then there's this section they call the omen that goes further deep and it's pretty much exactly the same throughout so for the whole entire different sets of cards it's broken out into the exact same manner keywords omen summary uh, pictures of uh, centered without borders which looks very nice i think it should have been like that so you can see here it's the same for the planets same for the each zodiac signs the way it's been broken up some will have uh, as usual a lot more to it to understand but overall it kind of it's exactly the same throughout the entire book um see here for all the signs all of it is exactly the same in terms of the meanings and everything in general so it's this there's a lot there re really is enough at the very very end you get two pages where you could not uh, note down some notes if you choose to do so come to the very end of the book then you get this lovely colorful sort of like violet kind of color short biography of the author and then of the studio there and that is the book guys absolutely amazing book i love it beautiful design a lot of information packing in this book great for beginners so that was it guys that was a look at the have anybody's astrology uh, decks uh, the kit the set i'm really enjoying it the amount of information that i've gained the understanding of astrology um for me it's awesome it's awesome um hopefully this video has been helpful for anybody else out there who wants to get into astrology um so i will do a follow-up video maybe a month from now once i've really got to understand things a lot more i do have another astrology set that's coming up so i'm going to do a review on that coming up in two weeks so look out for that one as well by then i should know quite a bit on astrology so take care guys have a good one